Good afternoon, everyone. I am honored to be able to participate in the ISSTA meeting. Today, the title of my representation is Functional Code Clone Detection with Synax and CMAX Fusion Learning. I am one of the authors of this paper, Zixi Liu, and I am from Nanjing University in China. Below, I will officially start introducing our paper. The topic of our paper is code clone. Code clone detection is substantial in software engineering and has been widely studied. If a defect is de identified in a code snippet, all the cloned code snippets need to be checked for the same defect. First, I want to, I want to briefly introduce the co code clone detection, which is the main task of our paper. Code clone can be divided into four types according to different similarity levels. The code snippet in the upper left corner is an original code, and the other three code snippets are clone examples of type 1, 2, and 3, respectively. In these figures, there are some underlying parts. They are the difference between the source code. The type 1 clone can be understood as exactly the same code snippets. As you can see in the figure, two additional comments have been added to the type 1 clone sample, and the other contents have not changed. The type 2 clone can be understood as renamed code. As you can see in the figure, the type of variable S and P have changed from float to int. Type 3 can be regarded as almost identical code snippets. In the figure, in addition to changes in variable types and the changes in comments, some statements have been de deleted. This is the functionality of type 3, type 3 code clone may not be the same as the source code, but they are quite similar. Type 1, type 2, and type 3 code, code clone are well detected by many existing approaches. They are not, these are also not the focus of our research. Our proposed method is mainly used to solve the type 4 code clone, that is functional code clone detection. Functional code clone means that the structure and the syntax of the cloned, cloned code and the source code are very different, but the functionalities achieved are the same. It is the most complicated clone type because the syntax and the semantics of the source code are flexible. Many approaches try to use syntax-based or semantics-based information to represent source code. Based on the existing researchers, we have proposed a novel code representation with syntax and CMAX fusion learning to better detect code clones. Let us first take a look at Synax-based code representation. Usually, we use abstract Synax tree to represent the Synax. It is a tree graph that defines the structure of source codes. The AST has been used in many approaches for different program analysis tasks, such as source code clone detection, program translation, and automatic program repair. Another commonly used semantics-based code representation is PDG. It is a program dependency graph. PDG is a graph no notation that contains both data dependencies and the control dependence. And some studies try to capture the semantic feature by extracting the PDG. The figure shows the PDG corresponding to this program fragment. The dotted line and the solid line represents the data flow and the control flow, respectively. As you can see, just a simple for loop will produce such a complicated graph, and the directed connections are also in intricate. Since it is so complicated, computing graph isomorphism is not scalable, and analyzing the PDG as semantics-based representation has limitations in large-scale procedures. In summary, existing approaches have limitations in detecting functional code clone. On the one hand, although AST can represent the abstract syntax of source code, it is not able to capture the ca control flow between statements. On the other hand, each node in PDG is a basic code block, which is two coils 
or compared with AST, the improper grammatic may lead to a lack of details inside code blocks. Besides, the PDG for complex code can be extremely complicated, and the computing graph as from Python is not scalable. Moreover, AST is commonly used to represent a method, while PDG is used to represent an overall file. Thus, most existing approaches compare code clone similarity as the function as the gravity of a single method or a single file. To improve the existing approaches, we detect functional code clones through Synax and the Semantics fusion learning. As can be seen in the figure, we use AST and CFG to represent the synaptic and the semantic features, respectively. Such a fusion code representation can describe the code function more accurately, and the effect of functional code clone detection is also better. Our proposed approach consists of the following three co components. The first one is identifying the functionality with core graph. The second one is extracting synaptic and semantic code representations. The last one is training a DNN classification model. Next, I will detail the design of each part. We extract the core graph to ident identify the functionality in each source code file. There are some basic code core graph examples in the lower left corner. The directional arrow indicates that one function calls another function. We regard such functions with calling relationship as an entirety, re representing a functionality. In the subsequent analysis of the CFG, we connect the CFG between the functions that have a calling relationship, as shown in the diagram on the right. Method B and method C on the right side of the dotted line have a calling relationship, and the CFG after connecting them is very similar to the method A, which is on the left side of the dotted line. In fact, the two corresponding source code achieve the same functionality, and they are functional clones. Our method can accurately detect such code, such code clone that has a calling relationship. After identifying the functionality of the source code, we extract the AST as synaptic, feature, synaptic representation and the AST as semantic representation. We first extract the AST of each method and obtain the corresponding identifier sequence by traversing the AST tree in pre-order. Meanwhile, since the variable names can have an effect on functional clone detection, we normalize the identifier sequence by replacing variables by its type such as int, double, char, and a string. Then we apply word to vector, a word embedding technique, on, the, on each identifier. The synaptic feature of each method is, a, is the average of the identifier's vector and the synaptic feature of each functionality is the average of the method's vector. As for semantic representation, we extract the CFG of each method. It is a direct graph with a set of vertex and edges. Then we apply graph to vector, a graph embedding technique. Then we will apply graph to vector, a graph embedding technique to generate the corresponding feature vector. For the methods with calling relationship, we first connect the corresponding CFG, which has been explained before, and then apply graph to vector on it. We propose to use a deep learning model that can effectively detect functional clones between code snappies. The architecture of the DNN model is shown in the figure, which contains, consists of four components. First, we obtain the synaptic and semantic feature vectors and concatenate the two vectors together as the input of the model. The synaptic and the semantic vector are both represented as a 16-dimensional vector. We choose this lens through experimental comparison, and the experiment will be shown in the later. We use a pair of code features to represent 
whether the two functionalities are clones and the label is 0 or 1, meaning the code, cl the code pair is cloned or not cloned. Then there is a fully connected layer. It is to avoid the effect of the fusion features order. Then the hidden layer uses a linear transformation uh, followed by a sequencing non-liquidity to transform the inputs into narrow nodes in the binary classification layer. Finally, there is a softmax layer which converts the functional code clone detection into a classification task. In order to ver verify the effectiveness of our approach, we designed a series of research questions and then we try to answer them through experiments. This page shows our experimental settings where I want to highlight the dataset we use, OJ Clone. It contains uh, 104 programming tasks and each task contains 500 source code files submitted by different students. For the same task, the code files submitted by different students are considered as functional code clones. Such a dataset is very suitable for functional clone detection because the structure of the code must be different when different programmers impl implement the same functionality. This dataset is also widely used in the research of existing clone detection, which is convenient for us to compare with other tools. The first research question is that how does our approach perform in functional code clone detection comparing to state-of-the-art approach, approaches? We compared as many existing clone detection tools as possible, mainly in terms of accuracy, recall, and F1 score. In addition, we also compared the training time and the prediction time in each method. We compared with other six state-of-art approaches. The results means that an CDLH, DeepSIM, ASTNN, and our approach have the ability to detect functional clones, and we achieved the highest F1 score among all the approaches. Compared with ASTNN, an, an AST-based deep learning clone detection approach, our approach achieves a higher recall at the sacrifice of a little precision. This is mainly because our approach leverages both synthetic and semantic information in functionality grammarity. Deckard and the Saucer CC do not need to train the model and conduct code clone detection directly. DLC incorporates a simple deep learning model which costs much less time compared with other approaches, especially ASTNN, which is the state-of-the-art approach. The training time of our approach is much shorter, thus our approach is more efficient. The second research question is that how does fused code representations perform in functional code clone detection? We arrange the three features of text, AST and CFG, and compare to the results of each case. The text feature is that we treat the source code as text and apply word embedding technique to represent the source code. As the result shows in the table, our proposed approach, the fusion of AST and CFG, can detect functional code clone well, and it achieves the highest recall and F1. The fourth combination, which uses only text features, obtains the best accuracy but the lowest recall rate and F1. We observe, we observe that the source codes submitted by these students tend to use the similar, similar variable names such as A, B, and C, so the similarity between the tags is pretty high. Although text features achieve the highest precision, it is still not usable. When we use all these three features, the result works well but a little worse than our approach. Too much information and too strict requirements greatly reduce the recall while improve a little bit of precision. 
The third research question is that how does our chosen embedding techniques perform in functional clone detection? We evaluate this problem from two perspectives. On the one hand, we compare the comp combination of different word embedding and graph embedding techniques. The results are shown in the table on the left. For word embedding, we compared word to vector and uh, GLOVE. For graph embedding, we compared graph to vector HOPE, SD, NE, and uh, node to vector. It turns out that node work to vector and the graph to vector is the best combina combination. On the other hand, we compare the effect of different vector lengths on the result. We use the vector lengths of 8, 16, 32, and 64 for ex experiments. The data in the table is the lower right corner. The graph on the upper left shows the visualization effect. As can be seen, the longer vector will in increase the training time with very little increase of F1, and the shorter vector cannot capture sufficient code features. The fourth research question is that how does DNN perform in functional code clone detection comparing to other traditional machine techniques? We compared with SVM logistic regression as traditional machine learning techniques. The results can be found in the table. Compared with traditional machine learning techniques, our approach can better capture the hidden features from synthetic and semantic vectors. We have answered both research questions through such a series of experiments, and the results show that our approach is effective for functional code clone detection. Now, I'd like to make a conclusion for my presentation. We have presented a novel approach to detect functional code clones with code representation generated from a fusion embedding learning of semantic and uh, synthetic information at functionality gravity, and a deep feature learning model that learns uh, synthetic and semantic features, which converts code clone into a binary classification problem. And uh, we have conducted extensive experiments on a large real-world dataset. The results show that our approach achieves a significant advance over state-of-art approaches in terms of F1 measure, and it has good detection efficiency after the model training. Thank you for your listening. If you have any question, please feel free to ask. Thank you.